Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will talk about the system databases in SQL Server. So there are few system databases like Master Database, Model Database, MSDB, TEMDB and Resource Database in SQL Server. So those are the system databases and each of them is used by the SQL Server for separate purposes. These databases stores the critical information about the SQL Server and these databases are required to run the SQL Server properly on a machine. So the first database is the master database. A master database, it stores the user databases information like the create date of a database, file path of a database, etc. And this particular database also contains the information about all the link servers on a particular instance. Master database also contains the information about the login accounts on a instance. And this particular database is a must database and it cannot be deleted and you cannot add more files or the file groups to the master database so the second database is the model database model database is the template database for all the user defined databases so you can set different settings for the model database for example you can set the recovery model or you can set the their mdf file path or the log file path or you can set the collision so you can set any settings for the model database and when you will create a new database using the create database command then the new database will be created according to the properties of the model database and the model database should always exist on the sql server because it is required for creating the tam db database you know when we restart the sql services then the tam db database is created every time so the TAMDB database will be created according to the model database. So the model database is a must database on a SQL server and it cannot be deleted. So of course it can't be deleted and no more files or file groups can be added to the model database. So the third database is the MSDB database. The MSDB database is used for the SQL agent job. So for example, if you want to schedule some SQL query or if you want to schedule some SSIS package, then the msdb database is used for the sql server agent jobs ssis packages can also be stored inside the msdb database so you can deploy your ssis package to the sql server so when you deploy the ssis packages to the sql server then they are stored inside the msdb database the third point is used for database mail so you can also send the emails using the sql server so all those kind of information is stored inside the msdb database it keeps history of the SQL agent jobs. So because you can create the SQL agent jobs on a SQL server, so as per the schedule, the job will run. So if you want to check the history of the jobs, like when a particular job was ran in past, so you can just simply check it because the information is stored inside the MSDB database. It cannot be deleted as well. Now the fourth database is the TAMDB database. So all the temporary tables like the local temporary table and the global temporary table and as well as the temp variables, they will be stored inside the TAMDB database. A TAMDB is recreated every time a SQL server is restarted and it cannot be set to offline. Now our last database is the resource database. So it contains all the system objects. Those are included with the SQL server. It is much like the master database, but it is read only and SQL server system objects such as sys.objects are physically persisted in the resource database, but they logically appear in the sys scheme of every database. So whatever objects you see in the sys.objects in each and every database, they are actually stored inside the resource database and the resource database is hidden. So this was about the system databases in SQL server. All system databases are created when you install the SQL Server and if you still have any question about the system databases then you can put your question in the comment. Yeah, so I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button, do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.